Today we've got the in-depth review of the commemorative Intercontinental Championship. Here's the package it comes in. Nice uh, vinyl type cloth. You can see that. The zipper all the way down. Let's open it. The first thing you see when you open it, it's normally covered in plastic. Let's uh, I don't know what that was doing in there. Mr. Sacco squeezed in there. That was weird. It's normally covered in plastic, but I've had these belts for a while. I'm just doing a review on it. It has a little thing in there to keep face nice. And here's the uh, authentication that comes with it. Let's see, it says commemorative championship title. Of course, their plug. But then you take the belt out. Now, this is where things get interesting. And if you're a subscriber, of course, you already know what this belt looks like. Or, I mean, you, you know what this belt looks like. But with the commemorative, you get a nice uh, nice plate here. I mean, pretty much like the original, except it is not the hard metal, I think, that they use. It is just a, a real hard plastic. But it's, it's worth it, and it's way cheaper. But you get the nice snaps. And this one is, of course, the white plate intercontinental championship. It's lovely, just lovely. See, I've had it for a while, so the dust kind of collects on it. So if you look up close, you can see mine has these little spots. But from a distance, if it'll focus, from a distance, it's just a good looking belt. The strap, real nice white, fake leather. It's really, it's really nice though. And it's got this this WWE design in here. Now here's the first plate. And the second plate. And of course the main plate. Intercontinental Heavyweight Wrestling Champion. And I do have a video of unboxing this the first time I got it. If you want to see what it looks like all crystally nice and clear. It'll be a... Uh, It'll be linked at the end of the video in the little box, you know. Here's the first plate on this side. And these are all pretty thick plates. I mean, there's a comparison with a with a with a fuck you right there. There's a comparison. Not bad. And the the belt's got arch, a little arch to it. There's this plate. And then of course you got the intercontinental little uh, thing there I'm not sure looks cool adds a lot adds a pretty cool feature to the belt and of course you got the the gold uh, snaps here and this now as far as flexibility this belt has some flexibility to it like you could put it on your shoulder and it'd wrap right over but I normally just uh, snap mine up and keep it somewhere nice because after all it is a collector's item all around really nice belt I want to get the real one. I'm I'm going to start my collection on the real ones here soon. The uh, actual replica belts, not the commemorative ones. But the commemorative ones are worth the money and they're, they're, they're really nice. Tune into the next video where I review another commemorative championship title.